is time! Howdy, my name is Steve, and welcome to a very happy, uh, inducing uh, movie menu of mine. Uh, today I'm going to talk about my favorite movie of... of ever. Of... of ever. No matter how old I'll ever get, I will constantly come back and watch this film, because I love it so much. I saw it for the first time in America uh, when I was eight years old, when it first came out in the cinema, and since then, I just keep coming back to it. I think I saw it two times over in America, and then I saw it again in the cinema over here. And oh, it, and then when it came out on V, I still have it on VHS. Oh, I love this film. And if you couldn't have guessed already from that intro, it is, of course, The Lion King. And if you haven't seen The Lion King, I don't ever want to be friends with you, ever. So I'm not going to describe the story or anything like that, because everybody knows that this film is fantastic. It's the... <laughs> It, it's it's just so that that moment oh god that that scene with, with I'm, I'm 24 years of age and yet I still I can't with the... oh and also um, I just want to kind of put it out there as well that Mufasa and Simba and Scar are kind of you know the only males on Pride Rock to however many dozens of lionesses there are I'm okay with this. Now, because I'm not going to talk about the story or anything like that in this film, it's basically Hamlet, but awesome. <laughs> I say that because Hamlet is the only Shakespeare play I ever studied. Okay, came out in 1994, 2012. Uh, mathematics. 18 years ago, this movie came out, and it is still awesome. And in those 18 years, I have seen that film... Close to 100 times, maybe more. The reason why my VHS tape is so shitty looking now is because I watched it constantly. So at the beginning, when Rafiki does his little shaky thing over Simba, and he pours the stuff on his forehead and then he grabs the handful of sand and just sprinkles it over him, and then Simba sneezes, you could dress up like the cutest looking baby in the world as a bunny rabbit and have it riding on the back of a baby panda and it still wouldn't be the cutest thing in the universe because that that moment I don't I don't know I don't get it I really don't, I hate cute things but every time I see this I always just go oh. I've noticed that a lot of the characters actually look like the actors like Zazu and Rowan Atkinson their eyes they just look the exact same I was looking at the film and I was like holy shit that's Rowan Atkinson, but blue. Again, as I said, this is going to be extremely erratic because everybody knows how awesome the film is and I can't just talk about how great the film is because that's it's redundant. So I'm going to just pick out the points that kind of stuck out. As I say, looking back at it now, uh, as a 24-year-old gentleman who's worldly-minded now, I can see that there's an awful lot of like adult content. Not not sexual content, but like stuff that only somebody over a certain age would, would comprehend. Like, um, there's a bit at the start when Mufasa says to Scar, is that a challenge? And Scar says, uh, when it comes to brute strength, I'm at the shallow end of the gene pool. And when I was a six-year-old kid, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I was like, yeah, Scar's a dick. But now I fully understand that it's true, because Mufasa's massive and Scar's a little scrawny bitch. Also, I'd just like to point out that Scar is the first person that I actually hated. The first person in my entire life I ever hated was Scar. I d why? You, you know why. But the first person I ever hated in my entire life was Scar. Although, even to this day, I still hate the voice of young Simba. Not the actor, just the voice. I just... I don't like it at all. Now, when I watch it again for this time, um, I watch it on the special edition. And in the special edition, they have the song The Morning Report. Which wasn't in the original movie, but it was put into the stage show, and then they moved that into the special edition. And myself and my mother were watching this last night, and as we were watching it, I, I saw the part, like when, when they're singing the song, the, it's, the, they cut it together so brilliantly that it still sticks in with the original things that happened in the original movie, but without having to try and get someone to redo the voices of Simba and Mufasa. In the beginning, when Mufasa kind of shows Simba around Pride Rock and everything that belongs to them or whatever, everything like touches. Um, <laughs> I can't, yeah, I can't, I, I, I can't help myself. You remember that in the original film, that Mufasa teaches Simba how to pounce, and the way he teaches him is to sneak up behind uh, Zazu on the rock and pounce on him. Now, what they did to cut it all together with the Morning Report song is they had 
Zazu singing the morning report on the rock. Instead of just standing there with his back to them, not looking, he was standing there waving his wings around and singing the song. They just kind of superimposed it uh, in front of, like, Simba was here, Mufasa was here, and just out there in the in the foreground was, hey, look, there's Zazu right there. I'm just going to jump on him. And also, uh, thinking back now, uh, just after that, when <laughs> Simba pounces on Zazu and then, and then a gopher comes up out of the ground and says, sir, there's hyenas spotted in the whatever. Um, that, that always seemed to just be kind of out of place or just like, oh, he must have some kind of gopher spies going around. But then, uh, when they re-release it for the special edition, the Simba's just playing around because as I was singing the song, they needed something else for someone to focus on. So they just redrew Simba playing around with a bunch of gophers in the ground. And that just kind of ruined it a little bit because you actually kind of hope and presume that a king would have spies and the best kind of spy would be someone who can move on the ground. So actually the original uh, thought of having them as spies was a lot better to, to go with. I'm really overthinking this, aren't I? Now one thing that I do really want to point out about this film and how great it actually is, is um, when Nala and Simba go to the elephant graveyard and they get attacked by the hyenas, then Mufasa comes in and saves them. And then Mufasa gets really kind of stern with Simba and then after that, they kind of, they frolic and laugh through the field for a couple of minutes or whatever, and it's just... That, I don't know what it is, but their relationship and the music and everything, that, everything, Disney is just perfect at this. But that scene, that one moment in time, that one minute and a half of film footage, of cartoon footage, is still possibly the best father-son interaction in movie history. I, can, I can't think of anything better than that little... That little teeny tiny moment, and it's just, it's brilliant. I love it. I love this film. Be Prepared is the best song ever. And then, of course, after all this, we have that moment that we, we dare not speak of. And then Simba runs away and runs into Timon and Pumbaa. Now, Timon and Pumbaa are probably the greatest uh, characters in cartoon history, just for the fact that they're hilarious and also they're kind of like the moral backbone of the of the entire tale because in the end they're the ones that come back and help Simba even though they think that he's gonna just run away on them and he's not gonna have any time for them anymore they don't care they're his friends so they're gonna help him out no matter what it's just a really good thing to instill into people you know if somebody's your friend you'll do whatever it takes to keep them safe and keep them happy and keep oh Oh, the Lion King is awesome. <laughs> Any female person out there who knows me and has talked to me for more than, you know, three hours will know something that I refer to as the look. If you don't understand what it is, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, the moment that it happens, you'll, you'll know what it is. Once I explain it to you, you will know exactly what I mean. Um, it's the moment when Nala and Simba meet up uh, and Can You Feel the Love Tonight has just ended and they pounce on each other or whatever. And then... Finally Simba wins and he's on top and he's like paha pinned you and then Nala just looks at him and he just Currently I'm editing and uh, I just have to throw this in here a little editor's note um, Apparently the look that I was talking about is actually like a thing. I googled Like to get a picture to try and put it in I googled Nala the look the Lion King and it, apparently, it's a mass. It's a, it's a thing. Like it's it's a thing. D just because of this image, there's like communities dedicated to it. The internet is an odd place. Anyway, the entire movie ends, and Simba's the king of the castle again, and everybody's happy. As I said, this is my favorite movie of all time in Everness. This movie, and I think Aladdin is a close second. And then we have Biodome, so my three top favorite movies ever are those three movies. But The Lion King will always trump everybody else. So if you haven't seen The Lion King, or if you want, if you have a young cousin, like, or fucking niece or nephew or child or whatever, show them this film. We, I need more people to see this movie, and more people to love it because it is brilliant. Oh, I love The Lion King so much. Anyway, uh, that's the end of my movie menu. Thank you very much for joining me. My name has been Stee. Um, 
I can't think of anything else to say about the Lion King. Like, I know all the ins and outs and all the... <laughs> pretty much all the words. All the songs, all the everything. And I can't think of anything else to say about it, except... It is brilliant. It is my favourite movie of all time. That's it. Bye now. For a hunk of fat and juicy meat Eat my buddy Pumbo here Because he has a treat Come and down and dine On a Stacey Swine All you have to do is get in line Ah, you ain't good Yup, yup, yup Awesome bacon Yup, yup, yup He's a big pig Yup, yup You can be a big pig too <laughs>